In this clip, we'll talk about the saline type implant, which is also called saltwater implants. Now, these are quite common, quite commonly used, and it's a very good option besides the silicone breast implants. The saline implant, the difference is that the saline implant comes collapsed, as you see here, and there's a valve, which is a self-sealing valve, which is filled up at the time of surgery with the saline. One of the advantages of saline implants is that the implant can be placed through a very small incision and therefore the scar on the person's breast can be smaller possibly than when using a silicone implant which is pre-filled and therefore you need a larger incision to place it. So that's one of the advantages of saline. One of the disadvantages of saline is that the saline does not have the same type of squishy, soft or natural feel as the silicone. It also might have a slightly heavier feel and there may be some degree of sloshing and rippling that can happen from the saline. Nonetheless, saline implants are very commonly used. I do use them a lot in my practice, and I give each patient the choice to decide which type of implant she wants, having had a full discussion of the advantages and the disadvantages. There are other considerations, such as where the implant is placed. One of the considerations is if you place the implant behind the chest wall muscle, there's less likelihood that you will be able to detect feel or sense the implant's position anyway. So that also is one of my preferences to place the implant behind the chest wall muscle.